Folks, Polly here in the Philippines, and I'm going to tell you a little experience about going to McDonald's a couple times already because the little lady wanted to go there, and I wasn't really having any problem problem with sitting in some air conditioning. So we go there. You look at the outside. Beautiful, brand new building out there in Peely, right across the street from that Shakey's Pizza in my one of my previous videos. Uh, yeah, it looks like you're running the mill McDonald's, probably bigger than most McDonald's. Yeah, a lot of parking, a lot of motorcycles in PI. So, do they really need all that parking? I don't know. It's a big seating area, so maybe they do. Looking at that seating area, very nice. Uh, clean, someone's always cleaning in there. Heck, they got like 40, 50 people working there, it seems like. So you go in, you know, very nice seating area. They do have these tables with these like stool type seats. You can move them around, sit however you want at the table. Cool. Then comes the moment to order. They got an order window and then they got a claim window. <laughs> it sounds like a Boston found, you know, whatever. So you go to the order window, there's plexiglass there. The employee is wearing a mask and you go there and you're looking at the menu board. You repeat what the board says and they don't have a clue what you're saying. I got a little frustrated. I told little lady, you order. So she orders. She got, a, she got me a Big Mac and a, a cheesy burger. <laughs> what the hell is a cheesy burger? We'll get back to that. And looking at, when I was, before I made my order, I'm looking at this menu board and I got this like hamburger that they dip you know, you're, it comes with a dipping cheese and you're going to dip a hamburger in a cheese. To me, that's crazy. They have spaghetti. They're trying to stay in keeping with Jolly Bee, I know. They got fried chicken. They got some other stuff, kind of like off the wall kind of stuff. So I'm wondering why they call it the cheesy burger, right? We'll get back to that. Now, above the claim window, they have this monitor, a TV screen, and it has the number of meals that are or orders that are being prepared and then they got another section of the on that screen showing meals that are ready so the, the claim window is an open window so it looks like you're supposed to just go there and get it yourself well when you place your order they give you this little thing with the number on it and you're you place it on your table because they're going to deliver it to you whatever so we went and sat down and we wait and finally with great respect the employee comes up sir ma'am uh, here's the order thank you boom i give it to you so here is the big mac that little lady ordered me it looks pretty good for, you know, it looks like a Big Mac. Actually, it tasted like a Big Mac. Let's take a look at what the Miko King has ordered. Of course, Miko King ordered some fried chicken and some rice, and it came with a hamburger or whatever. I ordered two Cokes, and I told little lady large ones they weren't large. They didn't come with straws either. <laughs> And I'm wondering, I'm thinking about that cheesy burger. Why do they call it cheesy burger? So I'm thinking, man, there's a lot of things different here than back in the States. Let's take a closer look at the building from the outside again. What do you notice missing here from the Golden Arches sign? It's just weird. That's right. It does not say McDonald's on it. Um, and they don't really say, there's not a whole lot of advertising for McDonald's on the outside of the building. There, I mean, there is on kind of like on the side and on the end, but not in the heart of the building. And then I look at my receipt. 
doesn't say McDonald's on there. But what it does say, which is kind of kind of threw me off, it does say right here. Golden Arches Development Corporation. It is not the McDonald's Corporation that we have in the US. This is a Philippines company that bought the rights to use the McDonald's brand and, and they're allowed to change the product. Holy, I'm telling you, I've been to McDonald's all over the Pacific Rim while I was in the Navy. Fiji, Hong Kong, Thailand, Singapore, Guam, Hawaii. I was stationed in Hawaii, that's, but that's US. Oh, but they do stuff a little different too. They got Spam and Portuguese sausage. And they may have some other stuff now, I don't know. But yeah, they, they changed the menu up. There is not a burger in McDonald's here in the Philippines that has mustard on the burgers. And the other time we went there, we went there about 10 o'clock and they say, sir, ma'am, we are still serving breakfast till 10.30. Lunch does not start till 10.30. And we're like, okay, can we get this? And they said, all we have is chicken sandwich and I don't know what it was, pancakes. I'm like, that you're serving breakfast till 10.30. They go, we don't have it anymore because we're not making it anymore. I'm like, oh. So we sat and waited till 10.30. And 10.30 came, we placed the order. It took like 25 minutes to get the stuff. I got a cheesy burger. Yes, they changed the name because they changed the recipe. The cheesy burger was nothing but a burger with squeezed cheese on it. I'm not kidding. Squeeze cheese. But the biggest thing that irritated me, they took the, probably the greatest model of fast food efficiency and scoot it up. I'm enjoying myself. Nice and warm, not freezing. So thank you for watching. Catch me again next time. And I'll see you later. God bless.